a special video. Today I've been invited down to see a, like an exclusive viewing of Time Diver. This is Japan's like biggest dinosaur show. I think it might be their only dinosaur show. T-Rex, Stegosaur, Allosaurus, Triceratops, Pregosaurus, anything you could think of is here. This is the first time that I've ever been to a dinosaur show so I'm really interested and looking forward to it and I think if you are you know you're in Japan and you're thinking you're a dinosaur enthusiast like me you can't afford to miss this. So why not we waste any more time and just get to it shall we? I couldn't film any of the entrance as it was still being set up at the time, but I was sent this footage by someone who attended the event when it was open. We did, however, get to film some of the merchandise, including this amazing T-Rex, which is based off the T-Rex in the actual show, and only 500 of these were made. I was also told that the whole seating area rotates, allowing for one stage to be on show while the other one's prepared in the bag. And I couldn't have prepared myself for what I was about to go into next. After climbing some steps, I was greeted with this scene. And I have to admit, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting. And because we were invited to the rehearsal, you know, before the show actually opened to the public, we had this whole area to ourselves. And what happened to be on the stage? Nothing but an Allosaur, just, you know, practicing its moves. Wow. Oh, I didn't realize this. This is crazy. And with the screen closed and the lights dimmed, we set up to capture the biggest dinosaur show in Japan. Hey, look, it's me. Apparently dinosaurs are gonna walk down the middle and um, they might nibble on you, but I can't wait to see it. And I think they, they, like the screen splits open and wow, this is, this is way more than I expected it to be, 100%. Even though I don't understand Japanese too well, I was able to understand the show well enough to know what was going on. We opened up with a little presentation of Earth's history and dinosaurs before kidnapping this unsuspecting woman and sending her back in time. I guess you could say she was the real time devil. <laughs> and with that, we were teleported back in time to the Jurassic period, which she seems absolutely thrilled about, apparently. <laughs> Super as she indeed. And then we see our first dinosaur, a mother and a baby stegosaurus. As well as a herbivorous dinosaur, who is just kind of loitering in the background. However, it does have a cute interaction with the baby stegosaur. What are you doing? All jokes aside, these costumes looked really good, even close up. The eyes open and closed, and even the thagomizer on the end of the stegosaur's tail swung back and forth. Best of all, it even pooped. And then, all of a sudden, an Allosaurus appeared. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't on the Allosaurus menu today. <laughs> and in true dinosaur documentary fashion, we had a tense scene where the Allosaurus stalked the baby Stegosaurus. <laughs> Oh, and then in true Japanese fashion, uh, we had this moment. Felt like it was right out of Dragon Ball. And with that slight distraction buying some time, the mother arrived. Mom is very angry. But before the fight could really get underway, it was interrupted by the giant of the Jurassic. There really isn't any way that you can convey how big this thing actually was without being there. It's like I'm watching TV except for it's coming right at me. When I first saw it, I thought it was quite small, but as it got closer and closer to the front, I realized just how gigantic this thing was. <laughs> That's a better interaction than Sarah Harding had. And I thought that some of these dinosaurs would be puppets on movable bases, like with nobody sort of manning them. Uh, but no, these were all manned with people inside them, so I have no idea how they did this Brachiosaurus. But that was the end of the Jurassic period. Then, after a short jump through time, we ended up in the ocean. And to simulate that you were underwater, they had these really cool jellyfish that almost moved in slow motion. After narrowly avoiding being eaten by some mosasaurs, we joined up with a pair of Utah raptors. This is when it started to feel like a real dinosaur documentary. They performed a courtship dance, communicated with each other, and protected their nest from an invading Utah raptor. But alas, it was all for naught, as from nowhere, a huge sandstorm came. 
uh, and killed them. So that was cheery. And then we had a 20 minute break. Well, that was action packed. A little bit of emotion as well. And after seeing all those dinosaurs in front of me, I thought I'd give the cameraman my best dinosaur impression. <laughs> Flawless, yeah, as you can tell. I was told that they wanted to put more emphasis on the skies with this show, so I was looking forward to seeing what they would do with it. There was a little scene where a baby just and Berger dropped a fish. And when the Crethosaurus went over to investigate, it was chased off by the male. I have to say that this Geostern Berger looked really good. I've seen a lot of dinosaur puppets and costumes in my time, but not one as detailed as this is. And the way it walked was super convincing. I think they really pulled it off well here. I also got my first ever close encounter with a dinosaur. I felt like a regular old David Attenborough. Uh, they also had one suspended midair to simulate it flying, which I thought was a nice touch. The Cotoraptor was up next. After following it into the woods, the screen opened up to an absolutely massive T-Rex. And then another Dakota Raptor appeared. This one had a very stylish hairdo. From what I could gather, this T-Rex was dying. And these guys were waiting around like vultures ready to pick the carcass clean. And that's when the real T-Rex appeared. Who then scared off the raptors? Okay, now guys, brace yourselves. It's about to get emotional. So I didn't know if this T-Rex was also wanting to eat the bigger T-Rex. But then I realized that, wait... That must be its mother. Now, I don't really know how long T-Rex raised their young for, and at the end of the day, it's a show. And it's obvious they wanted to hit this emotional beat. But that aside, I think this scene really worked for me. There wasn't any overly dramatic, sad music playing in the background. It just sort of played out in silence. Which isn't something we normally get with dinosaur media, I feel. You don't allow a scene to breathe. And this one actually let it slowly unfold in front of you. It wasn't rushed. It wasn't boring. It felt real. And at this very emotional moment, I did the only logical thing and took a selfie. After the T-Rex passed away, the Dakota Raptors reappeared, smelling death, I assume. One quick tussle with the T-Rex later, and they finally got their dindins. They did this really cool effect to show the T-Rex decomposition here. And after that roller coaster of emotion, we had a little play with the baby Triceratops in the water. Oh, isn't that nice? Psych! Now the baby's in danger! See, you can never really predict where the show's going to go. Not wanting to be left out, the T-Rex breaks up the squabbling Dakota Raptors and asserts its dominance. And of course, we get a very Jurassic Park-esque roar from it. Only thing missing is that banner that falls down in front of it saying dinosaurs rule the earth. And then, uh, this happened. Right at this moment, I was transported back to the time when I was a kid making edgy dinosaur music videos on YouTube. T-Rex is badass. Enjoy his badass. <laughs> so I was warned that the T-Rex might nibble at you, which I was preparing myself for. However, uh, the cameraman wasn't. <laughs> it didn't show any interest to in me. I, I was ignored by T-Rex Senpai. And if you thought the show didn't have anything else, how does an adult Triceratops sound? Oh, but wait, I forgot. We still have the T-Rex to showcase. And what better way to end it with a final battle between the Triceratops and a T-Rex? There were parts of the fight that were done in slow motion. The music slowed down, the lights changed, and even the baby Triceratops had its chance to shine. And then the stage broke out in what felt like a battle royale. And unfortunately, I can't spoil the ending to the show, but they did have a casting call at the end with all the dinosaurs in the cast, which was quite cute. And in the end, T-Rex Senpai actually did notice me.
Oh, and we got to see the T-Rex come back to life so that the children don't have to take any emotional baggage home with them, which is nice. Well, that was it. The whole show and what a roller coaster that was. We had emotional moments with the T-Rex, but then all of a sudden it broke out into what seemed to be a dino disco where T-Rex got to show basically what everyone had came here for, T-Rex. But wait, there's more! I was allowed to interview one of the CEOs behind the project, Kanemaru-san, who I like to call Japan's John Hammond. So we've just watched the, the show, it was amazing, um, and is it okay if I just asked you a few questions about it? How did the idea for the show come about?造形物とか壁画とかそういうのを収める会社だったんですね。で、その博物館の企画展でたくさん人を呼ぼうとま来た時にまこの博物館に展示してある恐竜あのリアルな恐竜が歩き出したらいっぱい人が来るだろうってい
まあそこは微妙なところあります。Oh good. <laughs> have you ever tried to, or if you could, or take control of one of these dinosaurs? Have you ever done that? 僕？あありますあります。あけん。Oh really? Oh which one? アロサウルス。ラ、really? ルタランとと、oh, So he's been inside it. Yes 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 inside. あれ全然あのそんなに難しくないですあれ動かすの。Were you in the show just now? <laughs> As our knowledge of dinosaur grows and we make new scientific discoveries, how important is that to bring them to your show here? So, this, so this, I know, my digging like a size she no more on you, I stay to what was. I was having so much fun talking to another dinosaur enthusiast that I forgot to ask him what goes into choosing the dinosaurs that appear into the show. So I had to be reminded to ask him the question. Oh, yeah. That's, well, thank you. I forgot about that. Yes. <laughs> まあ選んでるっていうかまあでもうちの会社のチームがまあ一人で決めてないんでチームで決めるんでみんながやっぱり見てみたい恐竜になってますね<笑>はい。So if you could choose a dinosaur to be in the show, which dinosaur would it be? そうですね僕はアロサウルスですかね。Oh right, okay, it's already. What are the plans for the future of the show? Where do you see it going from here? そうですねあの。五十頭とか六十頭とかそういうような恐竜がもう本当に体験できるようなショーはいつかやりたいなっていうのがまずありますね。でもうそう今は十七頭ですけども、もっとトリケラトプスが群れで出てきたりとかそういうところに自分たちが入っていくみたいなショーをやってみたいなと思います。で、まあ今は国内で作ってるんですけど、これから海外にどんどん出ていきたいなっていうのがすごくあります。やっぱり群れが群れに会いたいんですよ。<笑> He was a Jurassic Park. <laughs> so here's John Hammond. Then. <laughs> Do you see this going abroad? Would you take dinosaurs on vacation, for example? Um, oh, definitely. Now, I'm going to go abroad. 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 Well, hopefully that happens. I hope, I hope it does. Well, thank you for your time, and、uh, I hope the next show is just as good as this one. Thank you. 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 Thank Ever dinosaur live show, and it was one hell of a one to start with. It was entertaining, it had a bit of with emotion, it had, of course, dinosaur fights, which is what we like to do with the channel, of course. And I had such a good time. There's a lot of things I couldn't record because they weren't set up at the time when we went to record it.、Uh, but outside of the vicinity, they've got like stalls set up where you can dig for dinosaurs, a lot of things for kids, as well as like a huge amount of merchandise. I've seen the videos and stuff afterwards, and there's a lot. If there's something dinosaur related, you're You're probably gonna find it there. And they even gave me this, which is very generous of them, which is the Dino Live 2022 crew, which you cannot buy and you can only get it if you worked on the show,、uh, unless you're special like me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. That was really nice of you. And hopefully in the future, I can bring you more content like this, because I had a blast recording this. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. Hi. Hello, everyone. Sorry, sorry, I was. I was... Talking, sorry. No, it's sorry. fine. Sorry. You, t you tell me when. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> three. Hello, everyone.、Oh, okay, wait, I thought you wanted me to say it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, maybe. Two, two, three, two. Okay, okay. <laughs>